welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Rai and this is Rai's Reading Corner. And it's that time of the month where we are gonna play another round of where Jenga picks my TBR. All right, I cannot believe we're already almost to July. June went by really fast. So quick recap of June. I only had, I think it was six rules and I had no penalties and I didn't get uh, pull any extra rounds. So it was a pretty simple Django pulls. However, I kind of had a weird reading month in June and I read a decent amount of books, but not tons that were on my Django TBR. So for June, I had the Falling in Love montage, Beyond the Black Door, Sorcery of Thorns, um, The Secret, White Stone Gate, and The Seven Husbands of Hevelyn Hugo. And I also had um, the All Boys um, Aren't Blue or All Boys Don't Wear Blue. I can't remember the top of my head. I did not read The Secret of White Stone Gate and did not read Beyond the Black Door, which I'm really, really sad because I wanted to read those. So that means I have to do two extra pulls on top of whatever number oh. I roll with the dice. So I'm already starting off with two pulls. So that might really get me in trouble. So June, weird month, but I will have to take a penalty. <laughs> okay, plans for July. I am definitely participating in Summer Ween, and that starts July 2nd. Um, and that is hosted by Olivia from Real Vera Reads a Latte, as well as Gabby at over at Gabby Reads. And then I'm also participating in Jess from Books Past Bedtime. It is a tarot card themed readathon, and that is a week as well. I can't remember off the top of my head when that is, but I will leave all the announcement videos in the um, box below. But that again is a week readathon. Um, there are a few that I'm not 100% sure on, but I'm really excited for those two. Those are definite. So if there is a book that fits one of the summer ween prompts, I'm definitely going to pull it. So I'm going to try and get some thrillers on this one. The tarot card um, the readathon, I don't know yet because I have not pulled the tarot cards. I'm going to kind of do it as the week goes for a weekly vlog. So I'm hoping though, whatever I pull will fit into those tarot card prompts. So thrillers, um, other things I want to read. Um, there are some um, new releases coming out that I'm interested in. And there's definitely some books I just did not get to last month that I want to add to this TBR. So let's roll the dice and let's see how many pulls I'm going to be adding on to my already two pulls. Okay, so I have the tool to the two dice. So let's roll and try to find out. I need to get like one of those trays. Okay, so I know you guys cannot see it, but I promise I have not switched it. It was a four and a one. So I have five pulls, which would have been nice if I only had to do five pulls, but I have to add two to this. So I'm going to be doing seven pulls to start off with. I was nervous I was going to get 12, but okay, that's not bad. Let's hope I stay at seven and that's it. So let's do pull number one. All right. Like I said, pull number one, let's go. Um, let's hope I don't pull Okay, so the first one is a gifted book. So I have to go through my bookshelves, find a book that was gifted to me, and that's the book that I will need to read in the month of July. All right, gifted book. This was kind of hard because there were a lot of things I wanted to pick, but I think I'm going to pick uh, Deal with the Elf King by Elisa Kova. This was one that I wanted to get to last month, but never did. This is gifted to me from Amanda from Gender Snapped Reads. If you have not checked out her channel, definitely go. But yeah, she's not a long book, so this is a good start, and it is my gifted book. So let's go to the next poll. All right, poll number two. Oh, let's hope I don't drop it. Okay. A buddy read. So I need to pick a book that I am hoping to buddy read with somebody. Okay, buddy read. So um, Brie from Coffee Books and Bullet Journals commented on my one recent video and saying that we should read Final Girls by Riley Sager for the month of July. So Brie, if you're on, if you're watching this, do you still want to buddy read it? But I will be hopefully buddy reading this. Um, this is the last Riley Sager book that is published before his newest one comes out next month. And it was my goal to get all his backlist completed before Survive the Night comes out. So I will be reading this and this will definitely work for Summer Ween. Let me check exactly which prompts I can use for that. Okay, so I took a look and I'm going to do this for Read a Book in the Dark. This is about girls who I think were potential victims for a serial killer and they are survived and now they meet together and yeah so it sounds creepy a perfect book to read in the dark all right poll number three let's go okay oh my son helped me with this so they're not perfectly straight okay a books a books a book with pictures in it 
So I'm gonna go with the Ice Cream Man comic or um, graphic novels. I bought these in planning to read them for this readathon, and it is a creepy horror story about a creepy, creepy ice cream guy. So we're gonna read these, and these will count for Summer Ween. This will count for the prop of read a horror story, and these will be quick reads. But I am gonna count both volumes as volume one and volume two because they are so short. So. Seems like TBR um, Django is being very nice to me. So let's hope that continues with the next couple pulls. All right, pull number four. Let's hope Django keeps being nice to me. Ah, okay, a book with an animal on it. So let me take a look at my shelves and see what I have. Okay, so it's me technically it's an insect but this is my game and I'm gonna count it so I'm gonna read The Wicked King by Holly Black this is the second one in the Cruel Prince series I don't want to say too much um because I don't want to spoil the first book but again this continues um Jude and Cardin's um journey and I'm super excited I've heard great things about this one and this is again a book I really wanted to read and it's not long so <sighs> the TBR spirits are working in my favors <laughs> let's go to the next poll all right, poll number five again. Yes, I only rolled five on the dice, but I have those two penalty pulls, so we will. This will not be my last one. Uh, okay, an extra pick. This means I am adding now an extra one. So instead of seven pulls, I am doing eight pulls. So I, I was being too cocky. So let's pull another one. So again, poll number five, and I got a recent buy. So I just actually purchased two books, so let me grab them and I'll be adding one of those to my TBR. Okay, recent buy. I literally just purchased two books the day I filmed this video. So I just bought Malibu Rising by Tangler Jenkins Reads and Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I think I'm going to go with Malibu Rising um, by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I already said at the beginning of this video, and I is one of my favorite books now of all time, and I can't stop bragging about it. And this actually kind of is a spinoff of one of the husbands I think she was family so I'm really excited I've heard a lot of good things about it and I love the cover and it kind of like goes my dress so yeah I will be picking up Malibu Rising for my most recent purchase all right poll number six out of eight because I had that extra poll and I am oh gosh I'm in trouble here I think remember if I drop it I'm in big trouble a reread so I need to pick a book that I've already read and reread it which is not my favorite thing to do but we're gonna go for it Okay, so a reread. I'm going to reread Red Queen by Victoria Avard um, or Aveyard. I um, read this as an ebook when I first read this and I would like to read it physically. I know there's a lot of opinions about the Red Queen series, but it is one of my favorites and it's really what got me into the fantasy genre. I even have a special edition of this book, but I am going to read the Red Queen so I can read it physically um, freely for the first time, but the story itself is a reread. So, all right, let's go to the next poll. All right, poll number seven out of eight now. Let's hope we keep it at that because this is not looking good. Like, I feel like this is going to fall. <gasps> oh my gosh, that was really scary. Okay, all right. An author or title that starts with the letter R. Let's see what I can find. Okay, so I'm going to read for my prompt that's a title or the author's name starts with letter R. I'm going to do The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. I just want to comment on how beautiful this cover is. Um, it's literally gorgeous. It's the same new release came out in June. It's about a uh, young girl who's a witch who controls the season and it looks like this book is broken down into four seasons and looks like there's a little bit of a love story but I'm excited. Um, the cover it was more of a cover by I'm not gonna lie um, but yeah I'm excited. I like anything that has to do with witches. I literally have a whole bookshelf dedicated to witches so um, let me check if this does fit any of my prompts. Okay, so this could count for a couple different things. This could count for a book with paranormal elements because obviously she is a witch. And it also could count, there is orange on it. And one of the prompts was to read a book with orange or black on the prompt. And it definitely has orange on it with the leaf. So I could definitely use this for either one of those prompts. So let's go to hopefully my last poll. Okay, poll number eight, my last poll, which is good because this Jenga board, I don't know how long it's going to stay. Okay, a book with two or more people on it. This is my last poll. Yes, let's go find a book I'm gonna read for this one. Okay, 
I am going to read Tris Six Venom by Penelope Douglas. This is going to be actually for a secret reading vlog. It has definitely two or more people on the cover. This is my first Penelope Douglas. It is a sapphic romance. It is steamy and I'm excited to read this one. And it has a, is a chunk rich. I don't have a lot of chunky books on my like actual Jenga TBR. So I'm not too sad by that, but, um, I will have to add one, but there is, like I said, there is a couple more books I want to add, especially for a readathon. So let me pull up all my other books I want to read, but this is at least the eight books that I will be reading for TBR Jenga. Okay. So what would be a TBR video without having some extra books I want to read? So I would like to add on maybe Instructions for Dancing by Nicole Yoon, um, The Graceling um, by Kristen. I can't say that his name because there's a lovely sticker on it. Um, the Darkling by Kay Akram. This is I'm going to be using for a secret TBR. Um, Wendy Darling by AC Wise, another secret TBR book. King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. And I would also like to add Crave for one of my, the paranormal um, prompt for Summer Ween. So these are the books I would like to add on to my TBR. And these are my books for TBR Jenga. So really... Oh my God, I'm like trying to hold these up. It's really not that bad. Like, no, like I can do this. It's, hold on, I think I'm missing one. Hold on. There you go. I thought it was feeling a little light. So these are the books I have to see on my tippy toes so you guys can see it. But this is the book, are the books I would have to finish that I don't take a penalty. Obviously the other books are books that I would just like to read. So let me know what readathon you're participating in this month as well if you are um what your tbr looking like if you'd like to take the stream with me watch more of my tbr jenga videos make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my content if you're my friend on any of my other social media platforms like tiktok twitter and um instagram all the information is linked down below so stay kind loves and i'll see you next time bye Show. Pretty open from the minute that I met you